You ever think about how our food is grown? I mean, really think about it. We live in a world where the population is skyrocketing, urban areas are expanding, and traditional farming is struggling to keep up. Enter vertical farming, a concept that sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but let me tell you, it's very much a reality. It's time we dive into this fascinating world of vertical farming and see how it's reshaping the way we think about food production. So, what is vertical farming? At its core, it's a method of growing crops in stacked layers or on vertically inclined surfaces. Picture a skyscraper, but instead of apartments or offices, it's filled with lush greenery, fresh vegetables, and herbs. Vertical farms can be found in urban settings, utilizing space that would otherwise go unused. They can be built in warehouses, rooftops, or even repurposed shipping containers. It's like taking the concept of a garden and elevating it, literally. Now, you might be wondering why we need vertical farming in the first place. Well, let's break it down. Traditional farming requires vast expanses of land, and with urbanization on the rise, that land is becoming increasingly scarce. We're also facing climate change, which brings unpredictable weather patterns, soil degradation, and water shortages. Vertical farming addresses these issues head on. It uses technology to create controlled environments, ensuring optimal growing conditions, regardless of what's happening outside. It's like having your own personal farm that's immune to the whims of mother nature. One of the most exciting aspects of vertical farming is its efficiency. It uses significantly less water than traditional farming, up to 90% less in some cases. This is achieved through hydroponics or aeroponics, systems that allow plants to grow without soil. Instead, they're nourished by nutrient-rich water or mist. This not only conserves water, but also eliminates the need for pesticides and herbicides, resulting in cleaner and healthier produce. Imagine biting into a juicy tomato, knowing it was grown without harmful chemicals. That's the dream. And let's talk about space. Vertical farms can produce a staggering amount of food in a relatively small footprint. A single vertical farm can yield the equivalent of several acres of traditional farmland. This is especially important in urban areas where land is at a premium. We're talking about fresh, local produce that doesn't have to travel thousands of miles to get to your plate. It's all about reducing the carbon footprint associated with food transportation. Plus, when food is grown closer to where it's consumed, it's fresher and tastier. Who doesn't want that? Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds amazing, but isn't it expensive? Well, initially, yes. The setup costs for vertical farms can be high, primarily due to the technology involved. However, as the industry matures and more people invest in these systems, costs are expected to come down. Plus, think about the long-term savings. With less water usage, reduced transportation costs, and fewer losses due to spoilage, vertical farms can be economically viable in the long run. It's an investment in our future food security. And let's not forget about the potential for job creation. As vertical farming becomes more widespread, it opens up new avenues for employment in urban areas. From engineers and scientists working on the technology to farmers managing these high-tech facilities, the possibilities are endless. It's a chance to revitalize communities and provide fresh produce to urban dwellers who may not have access to traditional grocery stores. It's like bringing the farm to the city, and that's pretty cool. But like any emerging technology, vertical farming isn't without its challenges. There's still a lot to learn about optimizing plant growth in these controlled environments. While leafy greens and herbs thrive in vertical farms, growing larger crops like tomatoes or cucumbers presents more of a challenge. Researchers are constantly working on improving techniques and technologies to expand the variety of crops that can be grown vertically. And then there's the energy consumption. Many vertical farms rely on artificial lighting to simulate sunlight, which can drive up energy costs. However, innovations in energy-efficient LED lighting are helping to mitigate this issue. Let's take a moment to talk about the environmental impact. Vertical farming has the potential to significantly reduce the carbon footprint associated with food production by minimizing the need for pesticides, conserving water, and cutting down on transportation emissions we can create a more sustainable food system. Plus, many vertical farms are incorporating renewable energy sources like solar panels to power their operations, 
further reducing their environmental impact. It's a step in the right direction toward a greener future. And here's something that really gets me excited. Community engagement. Vertical farms can serve as educational hubs, teaching people about sustainable agriculture, nutrition, and the importance of knowing where our food comes from. Imagine school kids visiting a vertical farm, learning how to grow their own food, and understanding the science behind it all. It's a hands-on way to foster a connection between people and their food, and that's something we desperately need in today's fast-paced world. In conclusion, vertical farming is more than just a trend. It's a revolution in how we think about food production. It's about sustainability, efficiency, and bringing fresh local produce to urban areas. As we face the challenges of a growing population and climate change, vertical farming offers a glimmer of hope. It's a chance to rethink our food systems and create a future where everyone has access to healthy, fresh food. So, the next time you bite into a salad or enjoy an herb-infused dish, take a moment to appreciate the innovative methods that brought that food to your plate. The future of farming is vertical, and it's looking bright.